All right, so this is our video on our valence electron and Lewis structure homework. So if you haven't opened it already, you want to go ahead and go into classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and open up our classroom here. And um, I'm just going to use period one as an example. Okay, go to classwork. Then you're going to click on Unit 6 as the topic, and you can scroll down and find your valence and Lewis structure worksheet. And then you want to open this entire assignment so that it's big and you can see your copy over on the right. And so you're going to open your copy, and it should say up here at the top, it should say your name and the valence electron and Lewis structure worksheet. Okay, that is the one you'll be able to edit. If you get in here and you can't edit it, it's because you open my copy, which you do not have access to. So make sure this is open. And then also in your notebook, a good idea, if you don't have a printed one, you want to make sure that you've opened up your um, periodic table. You're going to need it to do this assignment. And I will show you um, how to kind of easily determine how many valence electrons even from the notes that i did so i will go to my table of contents here it'll say periodic table so i'm going to click to go to that slide okay and i'm going to go ahead and click on my open online i'm going to use my online and it should open up your um online one so you click on it you see the website click on that and it will open it and then I'm gonna go ahead once it's open I'm gonna close it down all right so let's look at it so the first one it says list in the table the number of valence electrons for the following elements remember valence electrons are the ones on that outside ring so the first one it's gonna ask me for here is carbon so I'm going to go over to my periodic table. I'm going to look. Okay, where is carbon? I'm going to look, 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 look. Okay, carbon is here. And if I looked and I wanted to do my Bohr model, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, it is in group 14. If you remember, the last, the ones place tells you how many valence electrons. So it has four. But let's say I not quite good at memorizing that so I'm gonna figure that out so I'm gonna look at carbon I'm gonna look back and see it has two rings okay and then we're gonna draw our um, Bohr model okay so let's go ahead and do that okay all right so now we have carbon okay so we have we're gonna do carbon and it's in the second period Okay, which is the second just row. Okay, so we know it has two rings. So I'm going to do one and then I'm going to two. Okay, and since it has two, I know that first one has to be full, right? So a full first ring has two electrons. So I'll put that on there. Then I'll go back to my periodic table. Okay, and so let's go back to our periodic table and we can see that carbon in the second one has one, two, three, four four in the second one. So we'll go back and I'll put those on, okay? So I'll go one, two, three, and four. So then I wanna know how many valence electrons it has, right? So then valence, and remember, valence is not the total number of electrons, it's just the ones on the very outside circle. So I'll count those up. So I've got one, two, three, and four. So it has four valence. And you might see me do this electrons. Okay. So that's how sometimes I'll shorthand electrons E with a negative and an S. So carbon will have four electrons. So we'll go and we'll put that into our thing. So it would have four. So you're going to go through and you're going to figure out for oxygen, neon, aluminum, nitrogen, um, chlorine, lithium, and beryllium. Okay. The second part says draw on a separate sheet of paper the Lewis structures for these elements. And then you're going to attach that picture of your paper to the Simon Turnit. If you're really good at doing um, drawings um, digitally, then you can go ahead and insert them. What I would really like to um, if you can, if you can figure out, is to go ahead and insert the picture on here too. So it's linked in your notebook and you can see them. But if you can't, that's fine. Putting on the assignment will work out just fine. All right, so 
The first one we're going to look at, and I'll do for you, is going to be sodium. So we're going to go look at sodium. We want to do the Lewis structures. And remember, we're talking about valence electrons. We're only talking about the ones on the outside ring, okay? Okay, so we're going to look at sodium, okay? Right, that's what I'm looking at, sodium. So you're going to have to see, and you can click on these, so you can see sodium is here, and it is in group one. And group one tells us there's one valence electron. And why do I know that? Well, remember, those valence electrons are on that outside ring. So it has three rings, and if I drew out the Bohr model, and I'll show you in a minute, then I would have one on the outside of sodium, okay? So let's go and see how that works really quick. All right, so now we're looking at sodium, which if you found it on the periodic table, it's Na, okay? It's in the third period or row. So it has three rings. And for it to fill up that third ring, you know that these uh, first two have to be full. So I'll put two, and then I know this one has eight because all the rest of them after that first ring have eight. And when I looked at sodium, it only had one. So it had one valence electron. So that's what we're talking about. So if I'm gonna write the Lewis structure, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to write the symbol, which is Na, okay? And then I'm gonna put my valence electrons on there for my Lewis, and it just has one. I always start at the top. I go north and then go counterclockwise and then fill up with two, but it only has one. So there's sodium. This is the Lewis structure for sodium. That's it, okay? So that should be what's on your paper, okay? And so now what I want you to do is I want you to go back and I want you to do magnesium, boron, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, fluorine, and helium. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.